Hey, howdy and a big welcome back to Yak City Gaming, everybody, as once more it is time we pick up our NHL 16 Calgary Flames GM mode here on the PS4, and you know we've got 17 games remaining, and just a quick reminder, this series coming at you every second day, so make sure to subscribe to stay up to date. So like I mentioned, 17 games to go. We are sitting second in the Pacific Division. How do we get into the playoffs for the second time in three years with an 80 overall rating at goaltending for the rest of the year with Yoni Orchio out until April 18th, so 16th or 17th more likely? How do we survive? That's going to be the question for this episode. Hopefully we can end up figuring that out. And then we'll end up in the playoffs in that second, third, or fourth seed in the Pacific Division. Here's hoping. Let's get into it and sim the first two weeks past the trade deadline. Going to explain my trade deadline strategy. I am not trading away anything. I'm happy with the team we have. We've killed it so far. I know we could use a better right winger, but nobody in my draft or in my trade scouting is giving up a better right winger so we are going to move ahead without picking anyone up and we're going to go down to the 23rd of March that is three weeks away and hope that we end up with a good simulation against Carolina that's a 5-2 loss right off the bat but I'm not too disappointed you see Bogdan Yakimov is on waivers we're going to decline him not exactly interested in him Against the Arizona Coyotes, that's another 5-2 loss, so that's rough. 3-2 loss there. We haven't scored more than two goals in the past three games. We need a big win here. Kenny Augustino has been injured. We're just going to assistant coach best player in there. And come on, big win, 5-1, huge. Edit scouting assignment and roll into the next sim. We're going to send off to, let's say the OHL and we will scalp forwards for three weeks why not and come on Winnipeg 5-2 mm, loss right there edit lines manually get Kenny Augustino back in then we'll be rolling so Magnapine came in and we're gonna substitute in Augustino that's what we want yes sir Augustino is in there and let's keep simulating we've got five more games Come on, against Vancouver, shootout win, 2-1, yes, that's huge. Come on, against Minnesota, OT loss, I'll take the point, I'm not going to complain. 3-2 loss to Pittsburgh, not doing exactly what we need, back-to-back -back losses, three straight losses, come on now, 1-0 win in OT, that's a shutout hopefully for Mason McDonald. Okay, come on, let's see where we sit, we sit third in the division, basically, what, three points back, of the LA Kings. Okay, we're, we're fine. We're in good shape right now. Sean Monaghan leading the way with 55 points. Who else has points on the season for us? Let's find out. And we've got Thomas Vanek at 54, Johnny Gaudreau at 53, and then you've got Bennett and Freleek rounding out the 50 range, and then Marcus Granlin has 49. So our top six all have 50 plus points, which is huge. I mean, usually your top Three have 60 to 70, and then your top or your next three have 37 to about 50. So right now we're in a good range. I like where we are. Dougie Hamilton and T.J. Brody leading the way on defense with 35 points each. And then I mean Boma and Poirier have the next highest points down there on the third line. Morgan Klimchuk up to 24 points on the season. Victor Arvidsson at 23. Joel Colborn. Hey, he's all right. 20 overall. 20 points and then Furland has 19 to round out the forwards and I mean you see the rest of them Kevin Connaughton has four points on the season okay he's not really doing it good and then you've got uh, Tyler Witherspoon at five uh, Robert Haig at a rookie eight overall and minus 11 that's really not getting it done and then Mark Giordano at 26 minus and 19 points Ugh. These are getting ugly. I think we need to shake up the decor here, guys. Quickly and see what we can do for the D to get them re-energized. So we're going to go to the defense. We're going to... Hmm, TJ Brody has 35. Why not move up Robert Haig? I think Haig playing with Hamilton 
might be a better idea. And then you've got Mark Giordano and TJ Brody playing together, and Connaughton and Witherspoon playing together. So maybe a good mix here. Let's see what we can do. Robert Haig getting promoted. Uh, edit lines, I want to see the forwards. And I like where Klimchuk is. Colborne's doing good down there on the third line. I think the lines up front are fine. So let's go ahead and finish off this sim. We've got 75 games in the books. We need to get the rest of March done. Then we will have three games to go. So without further ado, let's get into the last, second last week of the season. 8-2 loss right there. That is absolutely ugly. And you see TJ Brody was injured. So we're going to assistant coach replace player. He'll be back soon. And 6-2 win against New York. That's awesome. And a 3-1 loss to San Jose. TJ Brody is back. And we can get him in there. So maybe the defense isn't getting it done like we need to. I don't know. But we'll see as we get Brody back in. Schlemko out. And I want to switch up the decor one more time. Mark Giordano back up with Dougie Hamilton. Robert Haig, how do you do? Five goals, five assists. So he got some points in those couple games he was up on the top lines. But we'll see if anything happens against Minnesota. And that was a loss or a win. Uh, amateur scout, what are you doing? You are going over to the QMJHL to scout defensemen for four weeks. There we go. And sitting at 38, 35, and 5. Okay. So by my rough estimates, that's what? Just over 76, 81 points. So we're in a rough position. Uh, it's a tough pill to swallow. I know, I know it's not ideal, but just have to have confidence you'll get back in there. We're not too concerned about David Schlemko. He is our 7th D-man. And you see here we have slipped back to the 4th position in the NHL. Or in the Pacific Division, pardon me. And we're going to sim past the Nashville game. Hope for a win here. Come on against Nashville. We're going to get a 3-1 win. That is awesome. That is huge for us. So that moves us back temporarily into the third position and a guaranteed playoff spot. Okay, against the Oilers. A big division test here in year number three. The Flames are on the verge of making the playoffs against the Oilers. Yoni Orchio is back. Yes. All right. Here we go. Let's get him into the lineup and let's get him a win tonight. Two games remaining and we get our big star back. I am so glad to have Yoni Orchio back. Yeah, get him in there. Get him going. Mason McDonald, how did you fare? You 22 wins, 902 save percentage, 2.78 goals against average. You know what? You didn't do as bad as I thought you would. You kept us in it and now... Yoni Orchio has an opportunity right here to get it done, and that's a 3-2 loss. And I get... What is going on with Orchio? What is... Oh, oh, jeez. Come on. Oh. I, yeah, I, I don't even have words for it at this point. Orchio just keeps re-aggravating that groin, and he's out again, and... Mason McDonald will have to play stellar in his most important game of the year as the Flames sit fourth in the division with a potentially locked up playoff spot. We have to see what the wild card looks like. Uh, anywhere to view that entire league. And you see here, we are sitting 18th. So we sit in a playoff spot, so it looks like. But the Oilers are also fighting with us at 83 points. So let's take a look at the Western Conference. And you see... No. All eight teams have solidified playoff spots. So the San Jose Sharks, with 81 games, are going to get a playoff spot. Wow. The Flames. That close to the playoffs, guys. That's how close we came. And this game, in a meaningless game, we're just going to simulate and lose 6-1. to one. That's the way this season has gone. Pretty much 
50% of the season without our starting goaltender, and we come up two points, what, two points short of a playoff spot. That is incredible how this journey progressed, but still, to come up that close to a playoff spot and the season doesn't turn out. I'm heartbroken. So why not keep going, simulate up, and we'll get up to the draft, and then we'll draft in the next episode. You can see here the NHL season has come to an end. And is Stockton playing? I don't know if Stockton's going to end up playing. Stockton, it looks like, is going to keep playing. They've got one more game. Are they in a playoff spot? No, they are not in a playoff spot. Oh, but they could be if they get that fourth spot. So, okay. One more game. We've got hope yet. Come on, Stockton. Get that win. And we're going to get a shootout loss. And that isn't going to do it as Stockton also will miss the playoffs. And that is the way this season ends for both Calgary Flames teams. So, guys... Let's keep the simulation going, see if we can get anything. AHL season has ended. Moving along, right along. Big disappointment. I mean, we saw some growth overall in our game from last year. I mean, 40 wins on the season and we missed the playoffs after what? Losing more than 50 games last season and only winning 18. So we, we did good this year. We actually grew. I'm, I'm impressed with how we turned out. We, we did all right, but it's just the fact that we couldn't in the final three games when we had a playoff spot in hold, could not hold it down, lock it down. We had Yoni Archio back. He got absolutely into the wrong game at the wrong time, and we ended up losing it all. So that's how close we came, guys. I'm glad that we actually had somewhat of a playoff chase this year. Yoni Archio is back, available to play. I understand that, but he's not going to serve any purpose now. I'm not even going to bother putting him back in. Let's just keep this simulation going. And Yoni Archio has gained morale from recovering from injury. That's great for him. And guys, that'll probably wrap up this episode, so... Let's see here, it wants to simulate one more, and Stanley Cup champions, I guess we should do that before we go, Toronto Maple Leafs in year number three, and the Bridgeport Sound Tigers end up winning the Calder Cup. And you see here, the salary cap is going up by about 1.5 million, so that'll be nice to have. And we'll keep rolling along, guys. So I will do the rest of the simulating from here. I'd like to thank you guys for tuning in to this edition of the Calgary Flames GM mode, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Hey guys, thank you for tuning in to this edition of Yak City Gaming. If you're new to the channel, I suggest you check out these playlists to my right. I've got some awesome videos for you to browse through. And if not, guys, thank you for tuning in, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.